M0FXP, let's do the firmware on our Retivis RT3S MD380 or 390. Go to this page here and then click support at the top here and you'll get to this page where all the firmware is. You've got your USB here, GPS software version 1.2, so that's your programming software which you will need after. And your firmware which is 19.06, whether it's GPS or non-GPS, it's 19.06. So click download so here's the firmware here let's let it download it will come down like that when you look inside you'll realize that all your bin files are there that's what they call them bin files are here and you need the firmware downloader just here at the top so when you double click that i would right click it and run it as administrator so extract it to a file first i've got some file my file here so let's just scroll to it it's rt i called it and you'll see it there, like little blue TV, just right click it, run as administrator. And when you run it through, you'll end up with this file here, just here, uh, beneath where it says leave message. It's like three blocks on top of each other. Double click, that's your firmware loader. Now before you do this, you need to get your radio into DFU mode. To check your firmware, go menu, down to utilities, then go to radio info, then down one to my version, look we've got 19006 and CPS 01.12. Okay, let's get our radio into DFU mode. We may as well plug the cable in first. So you've got your twin pin cable that comes with the radio in the box normally, but otherwise you have to buy the proper one. Plug it into there, turn the radio off, push the button, which is the PTT button and the one above, just hold them in and turn on the radio which is off at the moment and it starts to flash red and green let's plug that into our pc plug it in there and then you'll get this on the computer let's right click device manager here device manager and this time look in your usb not your ports at the bottom here double click you'll see stm device in dfu mode you're ready if you're not ready if it has a yellow error, then you need to re-download the, if you look at firmware, USB driver here, just click that, and then it will download, double click it, and then just run it. I would choose the one for your system, 64 ETC. Double click the three blocks here, that's your firmware loading software there. Click open file upgrade here, like so. Then find the file that you've saved, and it's RT3S, we're using 19.06 bin CSV GPS model, if it's non-GPS model, model select one that doesn't say the word GPS, double click, download file upgrade, and then one, we do need to wait for this to complete, and then really, you're done. To check your firmware, go menu, down to utilities. Then go to radio info, then down one. The two things I look for in this, for, in, with the newer version, I look for two things. Menu, I look for the fact that I can select my CSV file. So go to utilities, down to, up to radio settings, and go down. I want the ability to, there it is there, contact CSV to, to select them, okay? The other one I like to find that sometimes is missing is when you go into the first menu, go menu, down to utilities. Look, number three, that can be missing. Program the radio by hand, look. That's quite an important one. The other one is you go menu just once, it says contacts. Click the green button again and look, you can see your contacts, but look, you can go down here, create a contact, but you can also manual dial a contact and you can choose either group call or private call. So that was missing on mine as well. So that's what you'll be looking for when you put new firmware. Bye for now.